These are the best hunters currently in solo leveling Arise. So let's talk about it. Let's get YouTube. No getting married. Come with you today with a hunter tier list after the Alicia patch, after the buff hunter patch, after all the patches in the world, man. So guys, with this, I'll be able to give you guys the know-how on the best hunters you want to be using currently, which ones are broken, which ones are OP, whether you knew this or not, there's always something to learn. So if you rock with me, go ahead and leave a like on the video. If you're new, consider subscribing to the channel, turn on all post notifications so you can know each and every time we go live. Last but not least, join the discourse over the Nogan Mafia. But let's get straight into it. Honestly, I have, what's this, six tiers here, and we go from broken, OP, very good, good, can be useful a bit to useless or not used. So guys, this is my personal, personal tier list. I do invite feedback in the comments below. But without further ado, let's get straight into it. Honestly, I wanna go from top to bottom, starting with broken. Miss Alicia Blanc. Honestly, guys, she has been insane, insane in this game. Even at the A1, at the A2 for the light spenders, for the free to plays, you guys can definitely get a nice value out of her. We did test her out once she dropped. And honestly, I am loving the results. Her ultimate from her core attack to her just basics. Everything's very, very good about her. So if you don't have her in a rotation, definitely consider putting her in your rotation. Next up, right next to her, actually, Miss Cha Heian. She just dropped previously to Alicia and she is still one of the best hunters in the game currently. She's definitely, honestly, I don't think it's crazy to say she is the best hunter in the game currently as of now. She is definitely a monster in her own right. Man, we don't even have to talk about it too long, but her attack, her crit buff, her support, she is just all around well-rounded and she's broken in that category. If we continue along these lines, we're gonna take up Miss Emma Lorenz, the fire tank. Now guys, Emma is very, very interesting. She is one of the best hunters in the game that comes when it comes to breaking. Her utility is basically very vast and there's a lot of ways you can use Emma Laurent from her burn up skill that slices and dices, you know, a wave of enemies to her support, to her QTE, to her ultimate, to her heat emission, to her heat absorption effect that increases her defense, that increases her defense and penetration. You definitely need Emma Laurent in your hunter lineup. Moving along this line, we're gonna bring up a healer, the boy Mean. Being goo, right? This guy is insane, guys. I don't even know how much I could even say about him right now. But Mean is one of the best hunters in the game, and he's not even a damaging hunter, right? One of the hunters in the game that's only healing, that's only giving buffs, that's only supporting. You always will want Mean in your lineup, whether you're on the hunter side, whether you're on the Sunji Noon side. So definitely, Mean deserves this spot in his own right. And then the last broken hunter, we're gonna bring up Sa Jiwoo. Now, I definitely don't have to speak too long here, man. Sa Jiwoo is a character in which you can spam both her basic skills, get a little bit of shield, and she was our initial Serb counter. So definitely, 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 now that we have Alicia, that burden has lightened a bit on Sa, but guys, we cannot switch up on her. We can't switch up on Sa, all right? She was the first Serb counter. She was the first to do it, man had a lot of fun with her and she is still broken to this day moving on now that we talked about the broken tier we can move on to the top tier now guys with this we're gonna put a lot of ssrs in here as you may already figured out but let's start off with silver main beck yunho now i don't have silver main beck yunho and that's okay but i've seen a lot of gameplay and i do like what i've seen from him he's definitely op i've seen him currently in some speed runs for the current battle for the time event where it's baraka and definitely man it's considering me it's making me consider getting him not gonna lie but Beck Yoon Ho definitely is a character that works with a, a nice amount of bleed, a nice amount of damage. He's probably the other, only other bleed character aside from Kang, right? And in that sense, you can definitely get a good value from this SSR character. Moving on, we're gonna bring up regular Beck Yoon Ho, okay? So the light tank, man, he is great at destroying a lot of shield, man. This dude is a beast in his own right. He's so OP, they had to give him two different characters to split his personality. So from the QTE, from the two basic skills, guys, he's doing a lot, and I mean a lot of break damage. He can break pretty much Egress in one full rotation, whether it's the QTE, basic skill one, basic skill two. That that gate is obliterated so definitely somebody you need in your lineup let's keep moving on though let's bring up the boy Choi Jonin Choi Jonin man where can I even start with him 
the strongest hunter, right? <laughs> the the world's ult or the ultimate hunter, I think they call him. Guys, Choi is a very, very goaded character. In early access, he was the best character. I don't think it's crazy to say that, but if you have him at a high advancement, Choi would definitely do a nice amount of things for you from his meteor moves to his, you know, rain of flames to the flame spear. There's a lot you can do. Even his ultimate does a wallop of damage. I like his QTE, even his support skills. So guys, Choi Jonin definitely earned this spot in the OP tier. Moving on forward, we're bringing up the lovely lady lee bora so with lee bora i actually very very am like liking lee bora now we've gotten a lot of advancements for her on a pay to win account and i'm not ashamed of what we've got honestly lee bora is a nice little character kind of similar to mean and it's funny that she's right under him but i'd say she's just like mean but she's not there so that's why they're a tier apart but Libor is still a fantastic character in her own right. I mean, she's definitely giving that, you know, damage taken increase with her charm effect. She has, you know, puppets, phantom foxes that she summons and, you know, the strengthening charm. She does a lot of great things when it comes to buffs and debuffs. She even removes debuffs for your character. So she's definitely in the OP tier and she deserves that spot. Our last OP hunter that we're going to talk about is going to be the boy Lim Tay. Now, Lim Tay, he was one actually my first ssr character and i did stop playing with him as much but guys this doesn't stop him from being broken i think he's one of the most agile characters in the game when it comes to using his basic skills his shooting maneuver that allows you to duck and weave as if you had dodges as if you had dashes so guys with this agility man he's definitely a great great character you can even you know combo up his shooting maneuver with his ultimate skill the typhoon fire i honestly love love this combination though when i'm playing with him and he does break right and archer doing break is very very fantastic so he definitely earned this op spot now that's five hunters in the broken tier five hunters in the op tier let's keep going and the very good and now with buffs you know coming through I do not still see these two wind SSR hunters as the OP tier, but I'm starting to put them in very good. Before the, you know, before the buffs, honestly, they'd probably be in good or can be useful, but they get very good here. We're talking Huang Dong Su and the boy Wu Jin Chul. Starting off with Huang Dong Su, he got a nice little buff, man. I still honestly don't use him enough, so there's not much to talk about here, but I might consider using him way down the line. Let's say we have a win weakness and I just got no other hunters, then Huang Dong Su might just get used. But going on to the boy Wu Jin Chul, he's more likely to be used just because he's a win tank and he does a good amount of damage. They buffed him up and then one of his skills, you know, it can charge a dash actually. So. He's actually more viable if we, you know, put this in order, really. It's Wu Jin Chul than Huang Dong Su, honestly. But definitely, definitely two great hunters in that category. If we move along this line, then the next hunter we're going to bring up is the boy Kang Taishik. So Kang is the initial character in the game that did dealt bleed damage and honestly i like his skills because i think his tracking skill works kind of like a shadow step he'll teleport behind an enemy so it kind of reminds me of the boy sun jinu i definitely definitely like that skill for him the bleed skill early on will definitely help you guys if you're doing let's say battle for the time challenges you know let's say you're doing tier five and you know you need that damage done right but you're only level 50 55 not quite to that level 60 range kang taishik as a hunter will definitely help you in that sense so definitely consider using him let's keep moving along this line we're gonna bring up the boy uh kim chul so kim chul aka iron right is definitely another great hunter not quite like beck yunho but early on you would definitely get that value for him as a hunter his qte is amazing he stuns enemies on the qte so that's always lovely and then you know his shield zone ultimate his you know uh what is it his fierce war his shield jump i honestly like all of these skills so and he even stuns twice actually now that i look at it he his fierce war does stun his qte does stun so that's over eight seconds of stunning definitely great for a tank character you'll immobilize your enemies and you'll get a nice break value out of him moving along this line we're gonna bring up miss lady nam che 
Nam Che was one of the other hunters that you could use against Cerberus as a Cerberus counter. As you can see here, she's a few tiers behind Saul. These hunters being, you know, a, li a little below these each other is kind of funny. Nam Che was definitely one of the characters you could use. She does a nice, a nice amount of break, and she even does freeze. So definitely was a character I was using specifically for Serb. So she's very, very good in that right. Uh, the last hunter in the very good tier. If we go along, we're gonna bring up Miss Lady Park. Definitely using Park as a support character is very, very handy. Her support skill increases your ultimate skill damage by 15%, and she removes debuffs from you or your team members, and that's very, very nice. She recovers your team power gauge, and honestly, having her at a high advancement gets you your ult almost instantly. If I start off the battle with Nam, or not Nam, but Park, she has her ultimate literally instantly. We can use it immediately, get the tone rolling. But that's our very good characters. Moving on to good. Now, if we move along here, we're gonna pick up Miss Lady Juhi. Might be a little high for some of you guys, but honestly, I do like her here. I like her a lot here because as a healer, I think she's one of the only characters in the game, correct me if I'm wrong, that can actually recover your mana. So this is very, very handy on the free to play account. Before we got mean, we were bumming it out with Juhi and she is a very, very good character that you do want to use. Moving on, moving on. Let's bring up the boy Eugene Ho. Now he's very good with shield as well. Honestly, that's pretty much all there is to say. Very interesting character to be using, but he's not a terrible character. Next up, let's bring up Huang Dong Suk here. Now with him, he has a very good support skill. He's gonna stun your enemies and then he's gonna increase your max HP. And then his QTE, his basic skills one and two. I like the enhance, I like the scorching shield. It kind of, you know, makes him invincible, not literally, but he'll move and, you know, get enemies out the way. And it's interesting because his attack scales off of HP. So definitely, definitely interesting in that, right? He does a good amount of break damage, but definitely consider using him. I think he's one of the only dark tanks in the game. So if I'm not mistaken, yeah, he looks like the only dark tanks in the game, but let can also break so that's why they're tears apart and then last in our good tier we're putting Anna Ruiz now I'll be honest guys I have not used Anna Ruiz not even one single time so I'm just going off public opinion here but I do think she's a very good character to be using some people may use her for Cerberus some people may use her for other modes but honestly I can't talk a little bit too much about her because I haven't had the pleasures of using her I think I drew her one time on literally both accounts that I have so there's not too much to say here but she does look like a pretty good character and it can be useful a bit here we're auto filling this in now but we putting in Han, Q Huan and Song now with these three I just feel like they can be useful a bit and then in the useless tier are not used we're putting in these two um what are even their names we got kim and then we got park so these two honestly uh i think kim's useless and then i have never used park so that's the useless slash not used tier but guys i definitely think this is the best tier list that you can see in the community currently but what do you guys think let me know your thoughts below when we're at it be sure to leave a like on the video if you're new go ahead and hit that subscribe button so we can get to let's say 6k subscribers Join the discourse over the No Good Mafia, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.